Hey guys, yeah, per your request, here I am. I'm going to show you how I do repair my tires and also repair tires for, you know, all the friends that come over and have some fun with me here. So the reason I didn't want to really show before is because to do a repair, it requires some work and some skills and it's not that simple. So if you are up to the task, yeah, definitely go ahead and try to do what I'm going to do. As well, you need some tools. It's not just a matter of... Uh, trying to do it with some spoon or something like that as I can see in the, in the, in the groups that the people is talking about it is not truth so you'll see what I'm going to do and to do a proper installation something that is going to last you and it's going to work for a long time for you you have to do it in this way otherwise you'll have a tire that is going to be leaking air throughout time it's going to be a headache and I get a lot of, of those uh, complaints all the time when people comes in to, to me to, to have a wheel repair. Yeah, they say, I took my wheel to a repair shop, then here we are, having my tires um, after a week, two weeks, um, starting to leak and the air is coming out and I cannot fix it. And I'm in the point right now where I actually need to replace my wheel. This should not happen, as, as I was saying previously, I mean, if you do a proper cleaning um, and do a proper installation, as remember, these uh, tires have to be installed without a tube. Anyways, let's begin. The tools I'm going to use to remove this tire, it is uh, clubs and of course levers. You only need the levers to remove the, the, the wheel, not to install it back. What we're going to do is uh, put the clamp in. In the bottom part of it, of the tire, we want to grab the ring. Like the ring is attached to it. In the top part, the, um, it has to be like this. It doesn't touch the, the bit of the ring. So look what happens. That thing was nasty. So we got one side out, the same position, same structure, see, comes out, now we're ready to remove it by hand, like that, it's out. Now, once we do this side, this one, the, the, the one side, the second side is the one is difficult to get out, so uh, I found that this, um, The best way to do it is for you to put it in a flat uh, surface like this, hold it from one end, and then you put the clamps in the other side, just holding the, so the, the ring is actually sitting in the wood, so the ring is actually this part of the metal sitting over here. So and then you grab here the clamps, grabbing the, the surface where you are actually holding it, and holding it from the other side. And then just press, press it, keep pressing it, and try to move it from the other side with what it is holding. So in this case, we're going to have to use a second, because it's not releasing, so we're going to have to use a second one. Oh. Yeah, That's it. That's how you get it out. See that? And we know this tire is terminated, so even if I get suspended, it's all right. Yes, that's when you guys use a uh, slime on it. This thing gets really attached in the edge. And that's why sometimes it's really hard to get it out, especially when you let it sit for a long time. This could happen. So the way I like to do it, I don't want to remove it through this side. I'm going to remove the tire to this side because I don't want to have to be playing too much with so many wires on it because you're going to have to do it twice. So first thing, open a little bit. First lever in. Second lever. 
and do the three levels if you can at once. So you have three levers, one, two, three. So I'm gonna start with this one, up, holding it with my feet. Second, four. You see, we have the tire out completely off. And that's it. Just make sure when when you're removing it. Just make sure that the, the beat, that the beat actually goes in the middle over here. So as we can see, Oops. and that's it. As you can see, slime the work. <sighs> that's what it is. Tire is damaged. And the ring destroyed basically this has to be really grinded because this doesn't come out that simple it has to be sanded so the bit that comes up to be a, a possible to put any tire on it and unfortunately i mean the tire still i mean the tire is good i'm gonna try to fix it but uh as you can see it was a lot of work to get it out and that's why i see people cutting them off the tires around making a lot of mess there's really no need, once you know it. So that's how we remove the tire. Rin. Can be cleaned by hand or with the same a scooter. If it's the front wheel, you have to do it by hand. So this process could take you a very long time. <laughs> After cleaning, I mean, uh, uh, sanding it and all that, we need to make sure that, that the rim stays really, really clean and a, and a very smooth uh, so it doesn't lose air when that tire is already installed. Now in here we're going to see that uh, this original wheel when we're installing, we want to make sure that it's in the right rotation uh, position and then it's just a matter of putting the zip tights around and pushing it in. You don't need to use any tools for this, simply more than, more than your strength and just push it in put it in the position I'm doing it, use your body as a, as a pressure point uh, so you can actually, see, if you can see the position, how I'm pushing the wheel down and then um, I'm pushing it with my fingers around, that's that's the way of uh, doing this uh, so it, it actually can, you can actually do it easily and it's uh, in this way you don't damage the bit and when uh, you're ready to put the air in, this um, it will sit normally because uh, Another point is uh, important is that uh, don't uh, don't uh, put the zip tight on and leave it on for a long time. You have to do this quickly as fast as possible. If you cut the the, the zip tights, don't just pull them out. Uh, see, put the pressure on in the part where the, where the tire uh, where the zip tight is, so the zip tight comes out clean and, and doesn't make doesn't make a mark when you're pulling that zip tight out. Then it's important to push the tire around so so it gets in position. You will not get uh, possibly properly in, but um, at least you get it in position uh, before pumping air on it. And then we're going to add a little bit of uh, water or uh, soapy water uh, to help with the um, so the bead is it slides in position. Let's remember the the ring is completely clean, so that uh, couldn't be any problem. The tire would sit properly in very quickly. And yes, you need some tools to do this. So. Uh, just see what I'm using over here so you can actually do it uh, properly right. Add a little bit of soapy water. And as per what you can see, I'm going to use a bike pump. This is how I fix my tires over here. So, just connect your pump and let's start. Now we're going to put a little bit of air and then um, we're going to try to align the, the tire in the ring by hand. Just by putting pressure on it, you will align it little by little.
and pay attention this is another issue that you need to be fixed we are going to use the lever to help the bit to get in position once the bit up in the ring in the edge of the ring it should be okay and now the tire would get uh, air properly If you don't see the, um, the edge of the tire, the line of the tire, it means that the tire is, uh, is not properly seated, that the bit is not properly seated. So in this case you might need to remove the air and try to align it a little better. As we can see where the blue line shows is uh, that the bit is properly seated, but in the white part is not. At this point we are going to remove the air from the tire and use the lever to remove a little bit of the bit and then add a little bit of um, soapy water to help the bit to get to the right position. And that should be all after putting the soap over there so it's gonna slide properly and the, the tire will get properly in position. Now that you have to know that it's just, uh, you're not gonna put 55 psi of pressure, you're gonna put at least 75 psi of pressure and do it gentle, don't do it as, as fast like uh, with a pump because uh, that could blow the tire. So you wanna do it gentle and do not pump it, just keep put, putting air until the tire gets in position and then release the air and put uh, the right pressure to the tire. Take a look at this. And now that we put pressure to the tire, we can see the, the tire edge around the, the, the ring and that means it's in the right position. So now we're gonna release the air and uh, put the right pressure to, to the tire and that should be all. And that's the installation of the tire, just take a look at it. And then the next step is going to be um, just to check it. I mean, uh, put a little bit, uh, put a little bit of soapy water around to make sure that there is no leaks, and that will be all. Do 55 psi, but um, uh, once I remove the bulb, it's going to be actually 45 psi. And this is a new tire, so that's what the reason that the pressure I'm putting to it is going to be this. can see the the edge around the ring so it this means there is not going to be any wobbles zero wobbles in this installation and there is not going to be any air coming out at all